Remember how I made a video about how to animate your titles in seconds? Well, we might have just made it even faster for you. We all know time is money, but we still want higher production value even if it takes a little bit more time. And one of the ways that you can definitely add value to your videos is animating your titles, whether it's your, your wedding films or your short films or your corporate films or your YouTube videos. Animating your titles just adds that, oh dang, this is professional. Look. So in order to help you guys get those animated titles that look really professional, we made the first cinematic motion graphics template. And out of all the products, out of all the things that I've made for you guys, the motion graphics definitely got the most positive feedback. It was really cool to see how many people were enjoying it. And it's been a big help for us in our workflow. It just speeds things up like crazy. So we went back to the drawing board and we thought, how can we make this even better? How can we make it faster and easier to use? And that's when we came up with the motion graphics pro pack. Now, with the help of Matt's genius brain, when you take that motion graphic template and you bring it into your Premiere Pro sequence and you change the title, everything changes with it. You don't need to resize everything. Everything dynamically changes as soon as you change the text. So now it literally, literally takes just a few seconds to animate your titles, unless you're just a sloth of a typist. In that case, uh, I can't help you. The new Motion Graphics Pro Pack has over 65 different assets and every single animated title has advanced too advanced for me, scripts, making it dynamically fit your text and saving you time. We know how hard it is to make videos and how long it takes. And really these motion graphics are made for us, but we thought it would be nice to also offer them to you guys. If you wanna speed up your workflow, get really cool animated titles, or if you just don't have a genius Matt to make some scripts for you to, you know, do all that genius stuff. So with these motion graphics, all you gotta do is download the file. It doesn't come with any other fonts. You can use any fonts that you want, but we do recommend certain fonts for some of the titles. And so we've named those recommended fonts so you can go out and download them for free. With this many motion graphics, I don't recommend doing it one by one inside of Premiere. I recommend finding the right folder structure and then adding the whole batch Toss them all in there at once, it's gonna be a lot faster. And then you can just drag and drop them into your timeline and they are made to be 4K, so if you're working in 1080, just make sure to right click and hit set to frame size to scale them down. Change the text and that's it, you're done. Like it's that easy. Yes, you can go and change some of the different settings. We've given you a lot of options to do that also, but if you wanna do this really quick, all you need to do is drag and drop, change the text, maybe change the colors. That's it. For me, speed is crazy important. So to have the animation change to my text automatically without me having to do anything is really great. But I get it, not everybody is in a position to buy these motion graphics right now. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this yourself. And it's fairly easy to make a simple uh, text animation yourself. And maybe this also gives you a little bit of an idea of how much work and effort we've put into these once you see kind of how these are made. Okay, so first step here is to open up scary After Effects. It's very scary, very frightening. I've done my part in warning you guys. Okay, let's start a new composition. And I would suggest making it 4K just so you have that option of using your titles in a 4K timeline. And let's just name it Simple Text. And then we're gonna choose the text tool over here. And then we're just gonna go to the middle here. And uh, for the sake of the good old days, we're gonna type in travel feels. And then to animate this, we're gonna do a really simple animation here where it kind of just like moves up and also fades in. Uh, we're gonna hit P for position. And then we're gonna start with where we want the text to end off. So that's right in the middle. And we're gonna make a keyframe there. Then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna move the text down a little bit and that's gonna make a keyframe there for you. So now the text moves up a little bit. It's the start of our animation. Let's add a little fade in to make this a little bit nicer. Um, you're just gonna hit C for opacity. And then again, I would choose where we kind of want the title to be fully showing. We're gonna go there, add a keyframe, and then we're gonna go back 
and then we're gonna add another keyframe at 0% opacity. And to make this whole animation a little bit more smooth, a little bit cleaner, I would use something like Ease and Wiz, but if you don't have that, um, you can just select all your keyframes here, right click on that keyframe assistant, and then we're gonna choose Easy Ease, and that's just gonna make the beginning and end of the animation a little bit more smooth. And then to animate that out, we're just gonna choose all our keyframes, we're gonna copy that, we're gonna move down a little bit, and we're gonna paste, and then this is really easy, you just right click on it, keyframe frame assistant and then time reverse keyframes. And what this does is takes our animation and it just reverses it. So it's the exact same thing just in reverse. Okay, so now we've animated our title to come in and out. How do we get that into Premiere? Very simple. First, open up the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't have it right away, you can find it in Window. Choose the composition that you're working on and name your graphic. Uh, I'm gonna call it Simple Text in this case. And now we gotta choose what attributes we wanna be able to change in Premiere. So you can add different attributes. For example, do you wanna be able to change the text or the color of it or pretty much any other parameter. We have a ton of different parameters or attributes that you can change on your text in our motion graphics, but we're gonna keep this real simple. Uh, okay, we'll start off with the text because you obviously have to be able to change the text, otherwise this is all pointless. You can hit solo supported properties and then you're gonna just drag and drop the text source into this little box here. And that's gonna add the ability to change the text inside of Premiere for that animation. And just make sure to hit properties and enable these checkboxes so you can change things in Premiere. To be able to change the color inside of Premiere, it's a little bit more annoying. You're gonna first have to go into the effects and presets, type in fill, and then drag that onto your title. Then you gotta hit the drop down arrow under effects and then the arrow for fill and then drag in the color into the attributes box. Once that's done, go to the bottom right of the box, export motion graphics template, choose the local drive and browse where you wanna save the file and then hit okay, export your motion graphic template. Congratulations, you have done it. And then you just go into Premiere, import it, and because it's only one, you can just do it inside Premiere, import it, and then you have that motion graphics inside of Premiere, and you can change the text to whatever you want it to be inside of Premiere, you don't have to go into After Effects ever again. That's the last time you have to touch After Effects. So it's it's a bit hard and scary if you've never used After Effects before, and it especially gets complicated once you add a ton of different attributes in there, and then let alone all the scripts and stuff that Matt's been writing in order to make things uh, change automatically, dynamically for you. But it is very possible to make your own motion graphics, and it's nice because you can customize them exactly how you want them. And you could even take my motion graphics and then just customize them and then save them um, so they're even more exactly how you want them to be. But if you're like me and you never seem to have enough time and you're always rushing and you especially don't have time to be working with After Effects and animating your titles and all that, the Motion Graphics Pro Pack is definitely for you. It is that easy to use that I guarantee you, you're gonna really, really like it. Um, also, do I look good? I'm filming for the first time on the C500. We're, we're moving up in the world. Uh, let me know, do you guys like the image? We're, I'm, I'm kind of tweaking everything right now, but uh, do I look better than normal or just the same? Did I just spend $16,000 for no reason? Please tell me it looks better. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye, enjoy the motion graphics. I appreciate all the support. Thank you to all of you who do buy the motion graphics. It's really good. And it also makes it so we can keep paying Matt. So that's a good thing, especially, especially for Matt. Okay, bye guys.